Hello, good afternoon. So welcome to another episode of Liquid Brain. So we have talked about the BAM file and SAM file format last week. So today we're going to talk specifically about cigar string. So cigar string is actually part of the content within the SAM file format that actually represent how different they are from the reference. So how different is your read compared to the reference sequence? Okay, so cigar actually stands for concise idiosyncratic gap alignment report. I love the way that they frame this. So it's a compressed representation of alignment that is used in a SAM file format. However, it is not the only way, and Cigar is actually being used by several other program program with several different representations of the way that they do it. So you know how bioinformatics works. So uh, specifically today, I'm just going to talk through what it is inside the SAM file format. And if you see slight difference, make sure that you are looking at the same file and not some other different um, file format or algorithms that you're using. Okay, so a cigar string has two main parts, which is the integer and op, which is the operation operator or something like that. Operation, yes. So there'll be one number and one alphabet, one number on one alphabet, not, not one number, but a series of number and one alphabet. So the number represents how many nucleotide it is and the alphabet represent what kind of uh, status they are in. Okay, uh, yeah, it's slightly more complicated, but let's just go through a few alphabet uh, just, just to get you up to date because we're going to go through an example, which is much easier. So the, the most common one is M, which is match, which is the read is exactly the same as the references. Uh, deletion means uh, the target sequence has a gap. An I means there's a gap in the curious sequence and so on. It'll be easier when we go through example later. So let's go through example one. I believe you already seen this in the same video last week. So we have a reference uh, sequence of a 19 nucleotide here and a read sequence of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, maybe 12. Not too sure, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it's about, it's about 12. Okay, so once you align them two, you realize that the read sequence, of course, being shorter than the original uh, original reference will, will lie somewhere in the middle with several gaps in between. So first of all, you need to look at is the position. So the position is where does the read actually starts. So in this case is position five, which is why POS is a five. So now comes the cigar string. Remember just now we have M represent matches, I represent insertion, uh, D represent deletion. So this is how you can represent them. So in this case, it starts from position five, you can see ACT and ACT is a complete match, which is why the first part of cigar string is 3M, three matches. And we have one I because there's one insertion in your read that is missing from the original references. So one I, one insertion. So the next one is 3M, which is another three matches. And we have 1D, which is one deletion in your read. And lastly, we have 5M, which is five different, um, five individual matrices to the genome. So relatively straightforward. So let's go to example two. So here is a bit complicated because you do not actually have to see the, the sequence because this is actually what you see in the same file. You will see the cigar string. You will actually see the, the, the direct read sequences and you also have a position. So in this case, let's if we assume the, the alignment starts as position one, what would be the reference sequence from the information provided below? So what you do is that you have 75M, which is the first 75 should be a direct match, and you have 26S, which is S, go to S, uh, segments of query sequence that not appear in the alignment. So let's look at answer over here is that 70, first 75 of them is direct match together with the reference, while the last 26 is completely missing from the reference. So in this case, this could be a complete new sequence, it could be a plasmid insertion, it could be a mutation, uh, transposomal elements, and so or, or it could just be a different species that only have uh, part of it being aligned onto the genome. So this could be from the other chromosome and so on and so forth. Okay, but probably missing. So let's go to another example. So example three, slightly more complicated because we introduced another new alphabet. So in this case, 69M, I think is fairly straightforward and 30M is very straightforward. So the first 69 and the last 30 match directly to the reference sequence. But we have 82N over here. So what does it mean by N? Okay, it's not, it's not here, but N actually represents uh, missing. So in this case, example three has first 69 mapped directly to the reference, 
the AD2 here is a is a gap which is inside the inside the what is that called inside the reference but not in the target sequence and we have another uh, 30 over here. So in this case, this represents kind of a deletion in the read sequence where 82 base fat is just completely missing. So it might be just gone somewhere else or it might be different species and so on. Okay, so the example 4 will be a little bit more complicated again because we have 4S, 76M, 151N, and 21M. So in this case, there's four sections of the, of the read that you want to look into. So how, does, how do you do that is that the first four is missing. So it's only inside the, um, what is that called? Only in the theory, but not in the reference. So only in your sample, not in the reference. And 76M is just... Uh, the direct matches, no problem. We have 151M over here, which means that there's 151 again inside the reference, but not in the sample, another 21 matches and so on. So um, I, I think this is kind of straightforward to understand. So I, I'm done with this video here. I hope that you all learned something. So again, let me recap whatever it is. Uh, Remember that uh, for cigar string, there's two parts. First part is always the here. So the first part is always the number. The second part is uh, operator of operation. And then there will be four nucleotide that's missing, 76 that is match, 151 that is empty, and 21 that's a direct match. So that's basically sum up how do you read cigar string inside your SAM file format. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, whatever things that you all do. And thank you for watching. Bye.